a charge conducting sphere of radius 5.5 cm sets up a potential of 75 volt at a radial distance of 2.2 meter so you have a solid conducting sphere which is charged so first of all i am going to draw the diagram for this question so you have a charge conducting sphere of radius what is the radius of the sphere the radius of the sphere they mentioned as r which is equal to 5.5 centimeter i will write it clearly Five point five centimeter, and it sets a potential of seventy five volt at a radial distance of two point two meter. So from the center of the sphere to a distance of two point two meter. What's the distance? Two point two meter in two point two meter distance. How much potential it sets? Exactly seventy five volt. And at the infinity distance, what is the potential? Whenever you are just moving very far from the charged particle, its potential is to be considered to be infinity. Okay, it's zero. Whenever the distance is infinity, the potential at infinity point is considered to be zero. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to find what is the potential in the sphere surface. That means we are going to find what is the potential here because this is a sphere. The radius is same. Am I right? If you take this one, or if you want to take this one, all the radius in the sphere is same. Am I right? So I'm going to take this as my radius. So in this place, because this is the surface of the sphere, in this point, I'm going to find what is the potential. So for this, I'm going to give a name for the uh, the potential for 2.2 meter. I'm going to give a name. So let's we take at a distance 2.2 meter, the potential is 75. I'm going to take that potential as V1. And I have to take this is R1. Am I right? Likewise, here the distance for potential V2 is exactly 5.5 centimeter. So I'm going to give this is R2 because here the radius is the distance. Understand? So we have V1 value, R1 value. We have V2 value as known. We are going to find the value of V2, but R2 value is given. So for that, we have to use. The formula for potential calculation which is v which is equal to k q over r i'm going to use this formula for both of this uh, situation so first of all i'm going to apply this rule for r1 and v1 so what will happen v1 which is equal to k q over r1 likewise i'm going to apply the same rule for this v2 and r2 by that the equation becomes v2 which is equal to k q over r2 understand so i'm going to name the equation as this is my equation one this is my equation two so that means you are going to find the value of v2 so before that better i will write v1 value what is v1 v1 is 75 volt and r1 is 2.2 meter and B2 value we are going to form and R2 value is mentioned as uh, the R2 is nothing but the radius of the sphere which is 0 0.055 meter because I convert the centimeter to meter. Now what I am going to do, I am going to divide the second equation by first equation. So divide second equation by first equation. So first of all, I'm going to divide the left hand side of the both equation. So then the equation will become V2 over V1, which is equal to KQ over R2 over KQ1 over R1, right? If you rearrange this equation again, the equation becomes V2 over V1, which is equal to KQ over R2 multiplied by this R1 will come to the top. So R1 over KQ. So by that, I'm going to cancel this KQ, the top and bottom. So by that, the equation becomes V2 over V1, which is equal to R1 over 
R2. We are going to find the value of V2. So, I have to make the equation in terms of V2. Whether this V1 will come to the right hand side of the numerator. So, V1 multiplied by R1 over R2. Now, I am going to substitute the value here. V2 which is equal to, what is V1? 75 old. And R1 value is 2.2 meter. Am I right? What is the value of R1? R1 value is 2.2 meter. 2.2 meter and R2 value is 0 0.055. So let me see what is the answer for V2. 75 multiplied by 2.2 divided by 0 0.055. We got 3000. We got 3000. So V2, that means the potential at the surface of the sphere is 3000 volt. Actually, it clearly shows. You have to see when the distance will be greater, the potential is weaker. When the distance is shorter, the potential is stronger. So it's exactly proved here. For distance 2.2 meter, the potential is 75 volt. For distance 5.5 centimeter, the potential we got is 3000. So our answer exactly proves it's true. Correct? Okay, this is the answer.